We'd like to welcome you to bemorenews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. Hey, Dave, what's the word? Come on, come on. It's, it's just sad. Love, it's love. Word is love. It's always love. What you doing out here, Carlton and Winchester? You, you, you live all the way in Parkville. Sna snatching up volunteers. What it looks like today is cleaning up. Tomorrow okay. might look like feeding people, but we just we just loving loving our city. Okay, what's up, Quita? Hey, guys. So Sm we are out small to more homes. Small to more homes. We build micro shelters and tiny homes for people who are experiencing homelessness and housing insecurity. We have Brian over here with his family. We got Charlie over there helping us. But we are out here to clean up the community and um, we got tools for the folks, water for the folks. So show up this and show up. Is this the fourth cleanup? This is the fourth cleanup of the Pender Hughes, Ele formerly known as the Pender Hughes Elementary School. Yes. And we are out here until the job is done. We got to. There's it's no need complaining about what the city won't do. No, it's, I mean, we see what the city can do. I don't know if they won't do, can't do, won't do, will do. But they haven't, but right. they haven't done. We see what they have and have not done. And we've been able to, um, you know, afford some resources to get the job done ourselves. You, you've right? been over here for mm -hmm. different cleanups. Yeah. Any thoughts, and you build the small to more homes. Yeah. Any thoughts on the homeless situation that you have witnessed here? Yeah. The homeless situation here, I think, is interesting for several different reasons. One, we just started this um, voucher program, which is pretty phenomenal. A lot of our homeless um, sisters and brothers were given housing um, in the hotels around Baltimore because of COVID. However, we have vaccinations now. Um, the city's beginning to open up. I'm not sure how that's going to shift when people have to get housing. Um, and then another interesting thing is Baltimore has tons and tons of vacants and a few thousand homeless people. Like, we can solve this problem mm -hmm. by, you know, fixing up the vacants. Hey there. <laughs> mm -hmm. By fixing up the vacants. So what I'm seeing is a lot of room for solution and just a need for a plan of strategic action. You've witnessed people right here on this very field sleeping outdoors. Yes, yeah, several. And then it's different folks. So first... You Surrounded by homeowners. Surrounded by homeowners. The couches were in the corner. There was a couple sleeping in the corner. They moved them to the trash can. The city didn't pick those up last time. But people are still sleeping on the couches next to the trash can. No one should sleep next to, to trash regardless of their vices and past experiences. Like, it's kind of sad, right? Yeah. Why do you do what you do in terms of this volunteer service, this community service, small to more homes? Why do you care, Quita? Um, I care because it's necessary. If I don't do it, who will? Like, I'm responsible for my actions. And so instead of saying the city should, this person should, that person should, I just do. And so that that's kind of my philosophy. We appreciate you, Quita Chancey, small to more Homes. I do what I can. Dot org. Thank you. Keep watching. Be more news dot com. The news before the news where we uncover the truth. Hashtag spellhouse. Hey.